What's going on guys? We are back for another video and this is my six tactics for finding keywords for KDP low and no content books and journals. Now I'm still pretty new to the KDP platform, but I just wanted to show you guys my six tactics for finding keywords to actually optimize your listings and get your low content notebooks, journals, diaries, etc. found by potential buyers. Now these are very similar to the same practices that I recommend for Merch by Amazon. And I have a separate video that I dropped earlier this week that is very similar content, but this video is a little bit different. I just changed out one of the tools that I use, and this is specifically for people selling KDP low and no content books. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to continue getting updates from my channel on my e-commerce journey for Merch by Amazon, KDP, and other online ventures. And of course, check below in the description for all of the tools and tricks that I talked about in this video. And finally, let me know in the comments below if I missed any research tools that you guys use or what else is working for you and what you're finding success with. So the first one we're going to take a look at while we dive in here, the first of the six tactics is going to be straight on Amazon. Now we're going to use a Google Chrome extension. This is 100% free. It's called the Amazon Suggestion Expander, which you guys will see up here in my top right corner. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wanna open a Word document. So you guys will see, I already have an, a blank one opened here. And this is where, as we go through these six steps, we're gonna keep track of any potential keywords that we actually find uh, that we can use to optimize our listing on KDP. So I'm gonna keep this open and I recommend you guys do the same. So back here on Amazon, what we're gonna do is type in our keywords. So let's go ahead and we're gonna use a similar one we've used in a lot of other examples, but golf. So in this case, we're assuming that we're creating books for the golf niche on Amazon. And these are just how I would find keywords to actually optimize that listing. Um, so to get started, what we're gonna do is if we just type in this keyword here, Amazon Suggestion Expander is gonna suggest results that other people are searching for on Amazon. And it's gonna do that by uh, showing you keywords that people are putting before your keyword and then after the keyword as we see here. So we have before and after and then kind of a mix of other related keyword searches uh, for the golf niche. So um, these results over here on the left are the normal results that we'd get if we didn't have this. Um, now, one thing that I wanna make a note of here is you want to choose keywords that are not too specific, um, that are gonna lead people in the wrong direction. For example, golf gloves, men, left hand, okay? If someone is searching for this, they're looking for golf gloves, left hand, and they're not gonna be buying a journal because that is not related to their search phrase. If Amazon sees that you're repeatedly not converting to a sale when they're showing your notebook to potential buyers, they're gonna say, okay, this is not a good listing, it's not optimized properly, and they're gonna push your product down in the search results, so it's not gonna be found by buyers in the future. So we want to avoid using things like this that are super, super niche, um, or super, super direct to something that's not related to our book. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, what we wanna do is start taking notes of all of the potential keywords we can use. So golf, obviously, I'm just gonna make note of these, but I'll, I'll try to keep it pretty quick so I will glaze over some. Um, now we're gonna notice that there are some things like disc golf. Or if we're doing a, a journal for golf specifically, we're not gonna include disc golf, um, but Let's see, golf for kids, golf for women, golf for toddlers. So we will do that. Golf for kids, golf for women, golf for men, golf for toddlers. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have golf and wine. Now these, this is another great example of how you can find uh, other potential notebooks that you can create. For example, golf and marriage. We see people are obviously searching for this. We don't have a notebook for that, but now we can go and say, okay, maybe we should start creating some results for golf and marriage specifically. Um, and then we can go to our designer or ourselves and create a golf and marriage related notebook. Um, golf with a game plan. So I'm, that, that one's a little specific, but I'll do golf game plan or golf game planner. Let's get a few more here. Now we can also take this a step further and do golf notebook and see what happens. So now there's a lot fewer, many fewer results. Golf notebook cover, golf notebook back pocket, but there's one there I liked. Golf notebook for coaches, 
see right here golf notebook for coaches so you guys get the idea so we can keep going through this we could do you know golf journal and see if it gets us anything else golf journal and logbook so we'll do golf logbook all right golf journal for women we'll put that one down too just to make sure we cover our bases golf journal for women and you guys can see how we can easily keep going down this rabbit hole i mean we could do all kinds of other things here putting greens journal you know just other related searches um well, it looks like there's none for this it's pretty specific but you guys get the idea so that is our first tactic is to use amazon suggestion expander to find kind of a good place to start and i like starting here because this is going to help set us up if people are searching on amazon already for our journals we want to rely on those search results more than any anywhere else so that's the first tactic I use. The second place to go to is a free tool called Sonar. And I'll, again, links to all of this stuff will be in the description below. And this tool, there is a paid version I don't use because I feel like the free version gets a lot for us, but this is gonna help cover our bases. So we see golf accessories, that's another good one. Golf bag, golf tees, let's see. Golf cart, we can put that one down. And I also start getting ideas just as I go through these. Like another one we could do, golf instructor, golf team, golf cart accessories, sure. This could be one, golf cart accessories. Golf bag, short. Now this, for example, would be good for merch by Amazon, but maybe we can do something similar. Golf, men's golf, men's golf notebook women's golf notebook golf gifts so you guys can see we're just adding more and more ideas here for when we actually go in and do our keywords on kdp all right and you guys can see as we go down we need to pay but the nice thing is they show us all of the highest uh searched ones up here at the top so we get a, a really good sense for this now the second thing i like to do is check the frequent words over here these are the frequently used together words so again you know maybe our we have a golf club on our notebook right so then maybe we can include that golf club golf gifts we already got all right next i go to the extended search and this is just going to pull up some more longer tail keywords some phrases that might work to, well for this Let's get these out of the way. Golf, golf balls, so we can put golf balls down. Again, some of these, as I mentioned, they might be too specific, so we might not wanna put all of these, but assuming our, tight, our cover has maybe golf clubs, golf balls on there, that could work. Golf gifts for men, sure, why not? Golf tees, another one we could use. I will skip it for the sake of this golf push cart. That might be too specific. I'm gonna take that one off actually. But if your cover has a golf push cart on it, maybe it could work golf games. So you guys get the idea here. We're just gonna go through putting green indoor. So I'm gonna just do putting green. All right, okay, so that's Sonar guys. That's a really easy free way to find more Products. The other nice thing here is instead of putting in um, a, a, a keyword, we can also do, let me show you an example. You can also use an ASIN. So if we go here and do golf notebook, let's see what comes up. All right. The golf insider performance diary. Okay. Let's go into this one. We're going to grab that ASIN. So every product, if you're not familiar with an ASIN, it's Amazon's unique identifier for the products. We can see this one, they're doing $9.99, so pretty high pricing. And they have reviews, so they're obviously selling. We're gonna grab, let's see, it's down here. Oops, we went too far. Dun, dun, dun. Let me see if the ISBN works. Oh, 
Okay, so we put in the ISBN, you can see it just picks up keywords from this specific listing. So if we find a really good listing, we can also put in the ISBN or the ASIN. Now these are bad, but I do like golf stats, golf stats journal. So we're gonna take those ones, golf stats, golf stats journal. What else do we have? Golf stats notebook, golf diaries I'll take. Golf diary, is that what it said? Golf diaries. Perfect, so you guys get the idea. Sonar is a really powerful tool. Okay, the next one, this is the third tactic I use. That's Book Bolt. It's really inexpensive, and if you're gonna take your KDP business seriously, you honestly should be getting this um, software. There's a link to it down below in the description. Now, we come over to the keyword module. I already did this search because it does take sometimes a minute or two to actually pull the results up. Um, it's gonna give you the keywords here, and we're gonna see um, the search volume, which is really nice, how much people are paying to bid on advertising for this those keywords, and then how high the competition is. And if people are bidding on the keywords that means that there's enough volume there and they're making sales from that keyword to continue bidding so it's a good sign if we see that there's something in the cpc column and in the competition column over here on the right we see the most frequent keywords which is really useful so golf golfing so we haven't added golfing so we're going to go ahead and add that uh what else course so golf course Practice, so we could do uh, golf practice. Golf lessons, that could be another good one. So we'll put that down. And then we see some related uh, journals. Now these don't look like they're actually that relevant to what we're looking for, so we're gonna pass on that. For some reason, golf pulls up all these gold related keywords. I'm not sure why, but we should, if we scroll down, we're gonna find some others. Golf, golf accessories, we got golf anatomy, golf and Trump, golf and yoga. So that's another idea. Maybe we could do something like that. Golf architecture, golf basics, we'll do that. Golf books, bestsellers, golf books for kids. We kind of covered those already. So you guys get the idea here. We could keep going. We're gonna find more and more golf courses. I think we already got that golf course, yep. Golf diary, golf digest, et cetera, et cetera. So we can keep going through all of this stuff. I do see one more, I'm gonna add golf equipment. All right, so that is our third tool, Book Bolt. Link down below in the description. The fourth thing that I like to do is to go, and we kind of already did this, but to go and see what other successful journals are doing. So I normally will go and on Amazon just search, you know, something related to my niche, golf journal, golf notebook. Uh, and we are just gonna scan for ones that are related to our product. So if this one we just looked at, they have a you know performance diary. We're just gonna be looking at the other listings that are selling well and try to see what reverse engineering to see what they're doing that's working well. Um, now I don't see a ton of results, probably because there's this is fairly broad. Shot cards, that's probably trademarked, but that could be an interesting one. Golf logbook. So let's see. My Amazon's going a little slow, guys. Bear with me. Golf logbook. So over here we see we have journal and notebook for golfers, game scores. So I'll do that. Golf stat logbook. Golf stats. Here, same deal, guys. Golf logbook. So we can take that dark green golfing notebook, yardage pages. Keep calm and play golf. So we can do play golf, for example. All right. And we can keep going through this and just look for more and more results. Live, laugh, golf. Blank line journal, golf notebook. We're gonna cover all of that stuff. Let's see. Golf journal, golf book, score, golf score journal, golf course yardage. Let's do that one. All right, so you guys get the idea here. That's essentially what I am doing is just finding other winning designs that are making sales. Um, and then we're gonna take those, pull out the keywords that are working for them 
um, and then utilize those when we actually go and do our upload to KDP. So that is the fourth way, checking your competition to see what is selling for them and what's working. The four, or sorry, the fifth uh, tactic that I use is the Amazon keyword tool. Um, now this is another free tool. We're gonna get a lot of duplicate keywords because we've covered a lot of our bases already on the other tactics that I mentioned. But the nice thing here is that you can search by different platforms. So Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon, eBay. Um, I always think it's a good idea to also check what's working on eBay because those people might be shopping slightly different, but it's obviously gonna correlate to sales volume for us on Amazon. So I'll just start with Amazon. We have golf balls, golf, golf, golf driving golf accessories. So we've already got a lot of these, but you can see how going through here, you're going to find more and more stuff um, that's going to work out for you. So let's see if we can find a few more golf cart. We already got golf driver. I'd rather be golfing golf equipment. We just got that one. All right. And we can go on and on through here. So I'm not going to take too much time just to make this video not run on and on, but golf journal, we're going to cover that golf journal and logbook. I'll just make a note of that one. Golf journal. Golf kit, maybe. Might as well throw it on there. And eBay is going to be similar, but we might check that one as well. Um, I'm not going to do it. I'll just show you guys the results, but I'm not going to go through here too much for this video just to keep it short again, but you guys can go through here as well and I'm sure pull out some more keywords for your listing. So the final tactic that I use is to actually use Google Ads Keyword Planner. Now you do have to make a Google Ads account for this, but once you do go to Tools and Settings over here and then the Keyword Planner, and we're gonna get two options here. The first one is to actually find keywords, and the second one is to check search volume for keywords. Now, it does take a second to load, so bear with me. All right, discover new keywords is the one we're gonna choose. And again, I'm gonna do golf, and I'm gonna do notebook. You can just do just golf, but I find that a lot of the keywords are then very broad. And this is obviously gonna give us results for what people are searching for on Google, but a lot of people start their buying process on Google, so it's always a good idea to get a grip on what is working there. So we have golf courses, you know, again, we have a lot of things we're gonna stay away from, PGA T Championship, that's definitely trademarked. And then we have, you know, some of the major golfers we're gonna stay away from. Driving range though, see, that's a good one we can add. Golf clubs, we'll pass on that. Country club, I think we might have got that. Oh, we haven't yet. So there's another one, country club. Open championship, um, I'll do golf championship. And you guys get the idea we could keep going through here. So now what we're going to do, and I'm going to point out one other thing you can do. Now that we've kind of found some of these sub keywords, for example, um, you know, country club or putting green we have up here. We can take these and go back to our first step and we can repeat this process again, but we can do it with these new keywords that we found. So if I put in putting green, now again, guys, I'm going to get a ton of additional keywords. So putting green indoor, putting green outdoor, right? And some of these, again, we might not be utilizing, but there's a lot of stuff in here that we might be able to use and, um, you know, incorporate with our listing. So this is just one example, uh, golf putting green, blah, blah, blah. So you guys get the idea and we can take this and then go through the same six tactics, but with that sub keyword. So we go to sonar, book bolt, et cetera, and go back through there. So that those are kind of my six key tactics. And as you guys can see, now we have this list of all these keywords to actually implement with our KDP low content book listing. This is gonna help really make our listing stand out. So if we have a winning design and the keywords optimized perfectly like this, we are gonna crush it and start getting sales with our product. Obviously it takes a lot of testing and trial by error, but this is a great way to get started and get a lot of keywords because most people aren't gonna do this work. And that's what we wanna do is stand out because we put in a lot more work to actually 
create good listings that Amazon recognizes and is gonna display to our potential buyers. So now that we have these keywords, I'm just gonna show you guys really quick what I do in KDP. So here we are, we're in kind of that first page where we're filling in details, obviously our title. Now subtitle is where I start putting in some of these keywords. I'm not gonna talk too much about this in here, but if my title is, you know, I'd tap that. We see that a lot with, uh, you know, some kind of club and hitting a golf ball in. And then we would want to make a subtitle and we can refer to these keywords like golf game planner uh, for men and women, journal or notebook, you know, putting green, golf gift idea. Uh, and those are kind of some of the ideas that we can incorporate. But the main area I'm going to focus on, we're going to skip past author. First of all, the description. Now, this is, again, something that a lot of people talk about, like how much do you put in here? I always like to try to put a decent amount in here. And this is where I'm going to start incorporating a lot of my keywords and I the tool I use for this is HTML editor so I'll come over to HTML editor and I will just go in here and I will actually write something up I've talked about this in some of my other videos so I'm not going to do it now but um, you know I'd write something along the lines of like get you know get the golfer in your life an amazing golf gift this journal or notebook makes the perfect golf accessory for a day out on the driving range or uh, on the golf course, blah, blah, blah. And then you're, so you're incorporating a lot of the keywords in here. And then at, once you finish this, you can copy and paste it right here into your KDP listing. But the area I want to focus on is the keyword section. Cause that's what this video is all about. Generally how I structure this. And this is something I got from the brief course I did with Jacob Bates, which I'll put a link to his channel down below in the description in case you want to check him out. Uh, he's done very well on KDP and there's a lot to be learned from him. So uh, the way that I structure this and that I learned from him is the first two boxes are very high level about what kind of item you're selling. So in this case, we're doing just a really simple notebook or journal with uh, college ruled lines inside, nothing else. Um, and so I'm just going to fill it in with notebook, journal, line, notebook, diary, college ruled notebook, journaling, note taking. So very high level keywords here. Now these next two, this section here is where I'm gonna put people who might be buying this. So we would do, and we can again refer here, but golf instructor. So I'm just gonna type these in, golf instructor, golf team, golf player. And we are reusing this word golf a lot, so you might not necessarily need to keep putting that word in again. Um, we don't wanna be keyword stuffing, so we could do just you know golf instructor, team, player, that kind of thing. Um, that's something I'm still figuring out and optimizing to see what works there and what doesn't. So you guys can go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think about that. If you can, if you should reiterate the word golf again, or if you think that's going to hurt your optimization, let me know in the comments below so we can uh, try to work through that and figure it out. I want to get your guys feedback as well. But, um, you know, we see other ones and, and I'll, I'll expand this into this section as well. So golf coach, golfer, golf player, and golf lover. All right, so now we have kind of what people are gonna be searching for these items that we're selling. That's what I put in these next two boxes. And then these final, these next two right here, I put in kind of those general keywords that are related to my product. Um, so this is where we're really gonna pick from these other keywords here. So golf carts, clubs, balls, driving range, putter, putting green, another one we didn't get, but hole in one, birdie. So we can kind of put some of these very niche specific words in here. And as you guys can see, we have so many keywords, we can't fit them all in, but golf stats journal is another great one we could put up here. So golf stats journal, oh, we're maxed out. So we'll take this out. All right, now the final section down here is kind of my random, whatever I have left, I'm gonna try to fit in here. So this is where, again, I'm just gonna be drawing on here, you know, golf gifts, golf accessories. What else can we get? Golf game planner. 
So you guys get the idea. Now, as this is up on Amazon, we can always come back in and tweak the keywords as we need. So if it's not selling, we can come back in here, change out the keywords, try to optimize it a little bit better. But I hope that gives you guys an idea of the six tactics I use. Again, let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing for keyword research and what seems to be working for you. Or if I missed any tools here or there's other videos that you guys really like on the subject of KDP keyword optimization. Because I want I'm still learning this process myself. I'm always trying to find ways to optimize better so that I can convert and get more sales. So with that being said, guys, make sure you check the description below to links to all the products that I mentioned today. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with my e-commerce journey with KDP, Print On Demand, and Merch by Amazon. And with that being said, we will see you guys at the next video. Cheers.